Good morning, everyone. I would like to convince you that emotions are not as good a thing as you think they are. In fact, emotions are emblematic or symbolic of, and actually are, part and parcel of the fall from paradise. Emotions signify that you are under the curse of original sin. Emotions signify that you are owned by the world. Emotions signify that you have not yet found salvation. And I want to convince you, if I can, that what I said is true, and if you can see that what I've said is true, then you will begin to take another look at your emotions that you have always justified and excused and which everyone says are so great. So let's talk about emotions. I was watching a YouTube video the other day about the martial arts. I forget which particular school it was, but it was one of the schools of martial arts. And the comment was made that a master martial artist anticipates or is able to see ahead what his opponent's move will be. And I thought, that's, that's right. That is actually true. If a martial artist has really found it, then he will have a higher state of awareness. He will be literally outside of time. He will be standing back and watching, watching from the neutral zone. And in that realm where his consciousness is, his consciousness is outside of time, his body is in time, his consciousness is outside of time, he can actually perceive a little bit ahead what the opponent's move will be. And then when he moves, he moves in his own time and space. I know that that's actually true. Now let's, let's talk about that. You see, here's another way of looking at it. We all know that when the salesman makes the pitch, the salesman asks for the sale, and the next person who says anything loses. The next person who says anything loses. If the person says something they lose. In this case, losing is not so bad, although it could be if, if the salesman is trying to sell the person something that they don't really need and shouldn't be buying. The point I'm getting at is if the person reacts to the salesman, then he loses. On the other hand, if the salesman begins to fidget and says something, then he loses. Now, we all kind of know that's true. Here's another example. I'm sure you've all seen the old Western movies. Not real new ones, which sometimes aren't so good, but the old ones. Or maybe you've read some Western novels, like Louis L'Amour, for example. Louis L'Amour wrote many Westerns, and they're very good. Well, let's say you read a Louis L'Amour Western, or watch an old Western movie. There's always a scene where there's a confrontation, a very tense showdown between two people, or a person, or two different sides. But let's say two people, and they're standing there facing each other and their hands are poised near their weapon. And the one says to the other, well, if you want to go ahead and open the ball, make your move. And they stare at each other. There's silence. The first one to flinch, the first one to blink, the first one to swallow hard, the first one to take a step back, loses. So that's another example of a situation that we, we just kind of intuitively know. So now, if you can see from those two examples that I gave you, then I think you may be ready for the next step. Someone is walking down the street and another person comes along and makes a rude remark. The first person reacts and becomes angry. That person just lost. Temptation made its appeal. The other person reacted. Do you understand? So that situation is very symbolic of most people's whole life, they react. They react, react, react. And every reaction is a loss. And often temptation is involved or wrong. I'll give you another example. And this time, I'll give you the example of a person who wins. Two people having a conversation, and one of the people suddenly tells a filthy joke. The other person, instead of laughing, instead of sheepishly smiling, or becoming resentful over it, the other person just stands there and stares at them with no reaction whatsoever. The person who told the dirty joke is now going to feel 
like they have egg all over their face. Now, the person who has egg on their face basically loses, and the person who doesn't react wins. Do you see what I mean? But if someone tells a dirty joke and then you sheepishly laugh at the joke, then you lose. You see what I mean? So I'll tell you how it can be a win-win situation. Someone tells, makes an off-color remark or makes, tells a dirty joke and you just look at them. You just stare at them and they feel like they have egg all over their face and they want to run and hide in a hole somewhere. Well, two things will happen. Either one, and most likely, they'll become resentful and then in their resentment, they go off and they get a case of indigestion because of their resentment. Plus, now they're going to be a little bit more careful about telling dirty jokes because they're going to start become afraid of running into another person like you. You see what I mean? Or, on the other hand, they tell the dirty joke, you just look at them, they feel embarrassed, and then they suddenly realize, they sense that they were out of order. And they're a little bit ashamed, and they say, hey, I'm sorry. It's a win. Now it's a win-win. You won by not losing, by not reacting. They win by coming over to the good side. Now they're conforming to the good for which you stand. And so they are upgraded. So it's a win-win. Do you understand? So it's always that way. But I just want to keep this one very simple. There, I've, I've written much about this topic, about reacting. And instead of reacting, watching, observing, and then moving from your calm center of dignity if something is required. I've written extensively about it in my books. And I've also made videos about it and so on. But I just want you to very clearly see that emotion is a reaction. So now, when this irritates you, that irritates you, this makes you nervous, this enrages you, this gets your goat, this bothers you. See what I mean? Now you have to see that those are all reactions. You reacted. And there's a spiritual law that says the one who reacts loses. So now you must learn to meditate for calmness and begin to react less. Learn to react less and then not at all.